I'm 26, I'm from Dublin, I have two children. I've been in a relationship for three and a half years with a guy who I thought was the love of my life. He was the love of my life. Um, loved him with all my heart. We've had ups and downs. I cherish the ups. I won't miss the downs. Um, unfortunately, last year, I found out he cheated on me with one of his clients. Um, I found out in June, but he denied it. She contacted me in November and told me she was pregnant. So, with the stress, I went into labour early. My world was turned upside down, as you can imagine. Um, you think you know somebody, you know? I am, um, and. It was such a hard time for me that I just, I loved him so much that I tried to forgive him and I gave him another chance and I took him back. And unfortunately, I found out he did it again on Father's Weekend. He didn't see us. He spent his time with somebody else. And I found out on Friday. <clears throat> so I went to the gym and I confronted him. And he denied it, of course, and threw, when I threw his phone, he punched me in the face. And it wasn't the first time. Last year, he split my head open at an event, and prior to that, he punched me as well, and I had a black eye. And for the last year and a half, I've been told that I'm paranoid, I'm a psycho, I'm nuts, my insecurities will kill me one day. <laughs> Even up until now, he tells me that my insecurity is going to kill me. Um, and you know what? After Friday's events, I finally realised that, no, this is not acceptable. No man has any right to put his hand on a woman. No man at all, no matter how big, how small, no matter where you're from, it is not right to raise a hand to a woman. And it's only now that I've realised that. And, uh, I've had the courage to walk away and to go straight to my family and friends and people who love me and I'll have the courage to actually do something about it this time because even once it's unacceptable but to be made feel that it is acceptable is even worse.